My name is George Rodriguez. I grew up in El Paso, Texas, where I went to undergraduate school in art. Then I moved to the Pacific Northwest, specifically Seattle, to attend the University of Washington to continue my studies in clay, where I received a master's in ceramics in 2009. For me in my undergrad program, I had to take intro to sculpture, intro to painting, metals, and clay. And I actually decided to take clay first to get it out of the way. I didn't know what it meant to work with ceramics, but I had an amazing mentor and I fell in love with the material. And once I figured out that um, this material was something that I could, that would translate my ideas, um, it just got the ball rolling and I really, um, from that point on, decided this is something that I want to do with my life. Um, and at that point, when I made the decision, I decided I will continue my studies so that I can understand the material and so that I can grow my ideas. And that's when I decided to go to graduate school and um, just become a working artist. And I, I, I work hard, but I love uh, every minute of it. And it doesn't feel like work. Sometimes it feels like work, but I still enjoy it. These um, particular works uh, in front of me are what I call companion figures, and they are um, a representation of uh, some tomb guardians that I saw an image from a pyramid, a newly excavated pyramid in Mexico, and they, disco they discovered these small stone uh, tomb sculptures. And I really like the idea of uh, as you're moving through life and as you are moving on to the next world, your next uh, journey, you have these objects that are your companions as you kind of transition. So I love that idea of companionship and community, so I wanted to make my own uh, companion figures. Um, these are built with uh, stoneware clay and they're made with slabs, so I uh, spent a lot of time trying to figure out what uh, the proportions and what uh, the overall shape will be. And as I make the work, uh, I'm basically just building uh, the form and I'm focused mostly on the form. Once I get the majority of the form done, then um, I start ornamenting and decorating with all of these uh, sprigs, all these flowers and um, decorations. When I am decorating these pieces, that's the part where I can really explore composition and figure out how um, this ornamentation and the form work together. And that's one of my favorite parts of my process, the coming together of both the ornamentation and the form and how they can work together. Um, and then the final step would be color. Color is another thing that really, um, for me, can express a lot of emotion. So I try and pick colors that um, will feel either inviting or uh, standoffish, depending on what, how, whatever the figure is telling me. A lot of my imagery is based around my Mexican culture. And when I first started incorporating my Mexican culture into my sculptures, I felt like it was a crutch or a card that I could play. I always felt a little hesitant about um, being a Mexican artist, um, but um, as I continue to work, I just realized that it really is this um, culture that I feel deeply ingrained in me. So it's not that I'm using it as, um, I'm not bringing out the, the card, I believe in it, so I want to share it with people. So um, the, my references, um, they're not specific. They're something that has stemmed from my upbringing with my family and just the community that I grew up with, but they are very much um, Mexican influenced. Being part of uh, an artistic community is so important. I feel really fortunate uh, being a transplant from the Southwest to the Pacific Northwest. Um, one of the things that was able to, that allowed me to continue to make work was that I had feedback from my peers and slowly my community started to grow. At first it started with my uh, peers in school and then it grew to the clay community, then it grew to the greater arts community. And 
it's this positivity that people give each other. It's not, um, sometimes it seems like it's a competition because everybody's searching for the same thing, but everybody wants um, their neighbor to be successful. Just being part of this really tight community has been one of the best um, parts of being an artist. My name is George Rodriguez and I made this.